What will Joe Biden do with DACA? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer, practicing law throughout the United States at our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's talk a little bit about DACA and what might happen when the Biden-Harris administration takes over in January of 2021. Uh, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals uh, program came about after President Obama was extremely frustrated with the fact that certain Republican hardliners in the Congress refused to allow uh, the DREAM Act to go to a floor vote, and it represented an effort by the Obama administration to do administratively what they weren't able to do legislatively, that is, to protect young people who came to the United States through no fault of their own as young people and have lived their lives as if they were citizens um, their whole life and who've done nothing wrong and who wanted to be able to go to school and get a job. And so the Obama administration put DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, in place and it was a great success. Um, there are young people who have been able to really um, get their lives on track, to come out of the shadows, to get jobs and to work and to live full, fuller lives, not full lives, but fuller lives than they were before. And uh, President Trump Although he said during the campaign in 2016 that he wasn't going to do it, he rescinded DACA. But the clowns at USCIS um, weren't able to um, rescind it properly. They uh, made a lot of mistakes in their efforts to try to kill off DACA. And crafty lawyers who love and care about immigrants were able to stop the DACA uh, cessation, the end of DACA um, in the courts to at least keep it on life support. And it's expected that when Joe Biden comes back in, he will reinstate DACA. I wouldn't be surprised to see if he expanded it a little bit to make it more helpful for people that got cut off from the start dates or the end dates. And I think that DACA might very well get expanded. Um, so that should be exciting. But it, the, the most important thing is that those people who've been living here under fear of the rescission of the cancellation of the DACA program will know that at least temporarily they'll be safe. Now, whether we see any kind of meaningful immigration reform in Congress will depend on the outcome of those Georgia elections to see who gets control of the Senate. But even um, if the Democrats are able to get 50 senators and have the tiebreaker with Kamala Harris, the vice president, sitting in uh, the Senate, um, it'll still be uh, legislatively difficult to get meaningful immigration reform with such slim margins. But the long and the short of it is DACA will be back. Uh, those, chill those young people now young adults will be protected and they'll be able to continue their lives in the United States not worrying about um, being deported right away. Now it shows you what a political football they are. They're on this roller coaster of Trump's trying to kick us out, Biden's trying to save us, and um, it just represents uh, the fact that DACA is a paltry solution, uh, a poor solution for these very fine people who um, want, just want to stay in the United States, follow the law, and build their lives. So. Hopefully we'll get some meaningful immigration reform, but in the short term, DACA will be back. If you have any questions about the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program or want to give us a call, you, you can do that at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. And if you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social and you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get updates whenever we make videos just like this one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.